Hello everyone. I am going to present a topic on introduction to safety instrumented system on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly subscribe to the channel. So our topic for this discussion is going to be safety. Safety is going to be explained. Safety in detail. What is safety? Safety is the method to have accident free work culture. Few safety slogans to remember. Safety is number one priority in the operating plans. Everyone to go home safely as their families are waiting. Accidents hurt, safety doesn't. Every accident is a notice that something is wrong with the men, methods or materials. Investigate, then act. Safety is the ultimate goal of each plant owner, operations and maintenance head to ensure all employees complete their work and return home safe. So whenever in the industrial environment where lot of hydrocarbons, gas and oil is being used along with toxic chemicals is being used, there are chances of getting some accidents inside the plant facilities. So it is the sole responsibility of the operation heads to operate the plant safely and ensure that all employees are safe and get back to home. Okay, why do we need safety? Safety is required for people to work with peace of mind and contribute their entire skills ability for the growth of the plant and organization. Plant operating facility administrative offices are unsafe, then there is a high probability of accidents to occur, which not only cause injury or death of employees and also results in equipment damage, production loss. If the hazard is worst, it may spread to the community around the plant and create various environment and health issues to the people, plants, etc. Plants that handle hydrocarbons, toxic chemicals, oil and gas are prone to severe hazards unless they are properly maintained. Why we are talking about the safety again and again? Because the plants which are handling with the hydrocarbons and toxic chemicals, oil and gas in the production facilities and several manufacturing units, there is a high chance of risk that hazard can happen due to any small mistake any small attentions not being given properly for the safety. Hence, it is the individual responsibility to work safe as well as prevent any unsafe activity in their vicinity. The workers and employees who are working in the plant, they have to be very careful, watch around the plant and whenever they make movement in the plant, they have to watch around places to ensure that all conditions are kept in safe operating condition. Otherwise, the fire extinguisher is not kept in place in the office and there is some small electric fire uh, happening, if there is a chance of getting big damage to the office, injuring so many people and causing several damage. Like Likewise, in the plant, there are oil ponds around and people should not go and do the smoking over there because in the plants in general there is a specific designated area to smoke if they fail to do this and then go with the cigar to the plant there is a high chance of getting a fire happening in the plant okay what is safety system in the earlier presentation topic we looked into several industrial accidents that happen across the globe in different facilities Safety system is a prevention layer acts in such a way to control if any hazard happened in the plant. When the plant control systems could not prevent the hazard happening. The plant control system is normally used to operate the plant in an automated steady state manner or with the small step changes wherever the production is required. But if there are some hazardous conditions happening, there is a tank overflowing happening or a pump failed to start and uh, causing accumulation of uh, toxic liquids. So there are chances of getting fire or any other accident. 
So the plant control system cannot stop this one because it automatically keeps on giving command for the plant to uh, operate. So there should be an additional system, additional protection layer which is known as safety, safety instrumented system. So which has to take in control and do the preventive action to control the hazards. Better designed control systems can prevent and significantly reduce the severity of accident. Hence, safety instrumented systems must evolved. This will be discussed in detail in the forthcoming topics. So we are going to discussion on this safety instrumented system about its implementation and there are several requirements and how to do the engineering, how to do the installation, commissioning, everything. Okay, safety instrumented system, we have industrial standards. Development of international and national standards which require safety instrumented system when hazardous conditions exist. Formal adoption of SIS instruments by some governments. It's when warranted by process conditions and requirements, it is the right thing to do to protect the people, plant and environment. International agencies such as IEC, ISA set and defines the requirement of safety instrumented system. IEC stands for International Electrotechnical Commission. You will see the logo something like this here. And ISA stands for International Society of Automation. This is the logo for ISA. And ANSI stands for American National Standards Institute. So this is the logo for ANSI. Okay, safety instrumented system. There are different standards within IEC, ISA and ANSI. For the plant safety instrumented system, below standards are being used. One is IEC 61508. This is the standard detail, standard number. This is for the functional safety of electrical, electronic, programmable electronic safety related systems. Also known as C slash E slash PE or E slash E slash PES. This is being used for the manufacturers. Basically, the manufacturers who are producing the electronic equipment, sensors, final control elements and several logic servers have to follow this standard. And another one is IEC 61511. This is a safety instrumented system for the process industry sector. Actually, this the one which is the governing the requirement of safety instrumented system in the plant about the installation of the sensor, logic solver and uh, final control elements, about various testing requirements, about commissioning methodology, uh, system validation, like that many process requirements have to be fulfilled based on this standard and this is used for end users. Similarly, ANC as well as ISA 84 is an instrumented system to achieve functional safety in the process industries. This is also used for the end users. So we will be discussing in detail about the safety instrumented system in the forthcoming topics. Thank you.